guys, it's Casey. So, I am coming to you guys with a bargain bead box unboxing for the month of September. I know it's the end of the month, but I still wanted to go ahead and shoot this. Um, so, the bargain bead box always comes in this blue mailer. It used to be a teal blue. Um, now, it's this more cobalt blue. But it comes in a blue mailer, and I took everything out so we could avoid the crinkling. Um, and it runs $19.49, I believe, a month now. Um, and it includes a assortment of beads and findings, including gemstones, and almost always chain. It is my favorite subscription because you get so much for such a small price. So this month's theme was Misty Rose. It says, inspired by the early autumn sunrise, this month's palette is composed of soft pinks with hints of mauve and red. Our centerpiece is a rose quartz go-go pendant with coordinating rose quartz beads in multiple sizes, tawny pink rhodonite and colorful assembled shell rounds add to the variety of pink tones along with sparkling crystal glass and porcelain accents antique copper findings in classic floral round motifs complete the collection so if you subscribe to the bargain bee box you also get a 30 percent off coupon to use in their sister store which is beadboxbargains.com it is a closeout store um, so they have unbeatable prices but their stock changes quite often um so go ahead and check out their their sister store they have tons and tons of amazing beads then down here on the bottom if i can undo this um it tells you about a contest you can enter um you can send a photo of one of your creations using this shipment to um their Facebook page or via email to be entered to win a $50 gift card to their sister store. So, and then if you turn this page over on your back, it on the back of your page is your shipment identification key. And it says our total retail value for this shipment was $74. And then some of them you're going to see have these asterisks and, um, little abbreviated letters here at the end and that stands for lead free nickel free and cadmium free and that's just to let you know if those metals have any of those um components in them so some of them are going to be free of all three like these ones up here are lead free nickel free and cadmium free some of them are only a couple like lead free and cadmium free here so this these ones do have nickel so, um, these are really important to keep in mind if you have any metal allergies. So, it looks like we got 19 items in this shipment. And so, let's go ahead and get started with this. Our products always come um, wrapped up in tissue paper and then in an organza bag. And it usually coordinates with that month's theme. Let me set this to the side. And so, since this month's theme was Misty Rose, we have a pink organza bag. And so, I'm going to get this open for us so that we can look at what is inside. So, give me just a second, guys. I'm going to get a little organized, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, first on our list is a 15-inch strand of 6mm rose quartz round beads. So, I kind of put our stuff together so that it was easy to find. So, Rose Quartz is a very pretty light, light pink. I really like the color. So, this is our 15-inch strand. And very pretty. They usually appear to be a little bit more pink than they are because of the string that they come on. They come on this very hot pink string. So, these are a lighter pink than they appear really on the string because you see that pink going through them but they are still very pretty, pretty pink. So there's that one, that's our number one. Number two is one meter of four by 2.7 millimeter steel jewelry chain, lead free, nickel free, and cadmium free. So this is um, free of all three of those. Um, 
metals. And I love that we get chain in our boxes because chain can get very pricey and you get a little over three feet here. So it's very nice. And this is just a nice curb chain. Very, very nice. Something on my hand. Huh. I don't know what it is. It was a dot of some sort. So, actually, let me put that there. So, very nice to get some chain. And I love how the copper findings are pairing with these um, rose quartz. So, number three is a seven point inch, seven point inch, 7.5 inch strand of 8.5 by 5 millimeter glass rondelle beads in icy pink. So these are really, really cute, and I actually reordered more of these because I just love them. I love the shape of them. They're really pretty, and this will drive me nuts, so let me, let me fix this real quick. Hush. So, I hate when my strands are all loose. Anyways, so these are our um, icy pink saucer rondelle beads. They're rondelles, but they're like almost saucer shape. So, they're really pretty. I really like them. And like I said, I did order some more of these. So, that was our number three. Okay, and number four is actually my favorite out of the entire box. It is a seven and a half inch strand of 10 millimeter assembled shell and turquoise resin beads. And unfortunately, I was not able to get any more of these because I completely would have ordered more of these. These are gorgeous. So this is what these look like. I cannot wait to use them. They're beautiful. Stunning. Love them. And once again, they've got a loose strand. So, absolutely stunning. I love those. I wish I would have got another strand of them. But these went by fast. And these almost um, remind me of, like, the real tree camo that has the pink and the leaves although that shell in there it almost looks like that to me that's what it reminds me of so absolutely beautiful i love those then our number five is 10 pieces of 11.5 millimeter pressed glass flower cap beads in milky pink so these are really cute and i actually don't have anything like this in my stash so i'm super happy to get them and they are these little flower beads. They've got an indentation here in the center. So you could actually use them as a bead cap if you wanted to. Um, personally, I think they're a bit big for a bead cap. So I will be using them as flowers. But super pretty. And I love the saturation of pink in here. Very, very pretty. So there's that. And we got 10 pieces of that. Then we got, for number six, 10 pieces of 11.5 millimeter go-go charms. And these are lead-free and cadmium-free. These are really cool, too. I didn't get any more of these, either. Um, but they are really, really cute. And go-go charms are basically like a donut, except the top is smaller than the bottom. The bottom is um, a bit larger. So really pretty. I really like those. They'll make great links or connectors. Number seven is two pieces of 26 by 21 millimeter floral round chandelier links. Lead free, nickel free, and cadmium free. And that is these. Oops, I can't get them open. So these to me don't look at all floral-ish. Um... They look like a geometric wheel to me. Wheel. 
not wheel, wheel. They look like a geometric wheel to me. They are not double-sided. Um, it does have a pattern on the back, so you could use it um, either way. You could put like um, a flat back in the center here and um, just have it be a cool little pendant itself. But I don't think that these look floral-ish at all. My personal opinion. Number eight is 48 millimeter floral cutout medallion pendant lead free nickel free and cadmium free this is a lot bigger than i thought it was i've watched other people's unboxings and the things that they have made with their their items and i did not realize that that was that big it is quite large very pretty but very very large and some of the things that i've seen people do were super interesting um, for one, I've seen people bead around the center pieces here, um, with other beads and seed beads and things, um, to make a floral flower. For just a, I don't know what I'm saying. A flower in the center, which was really, really pretty. And I really liked it. So that is a big, big medallion. Number nine is 24 pieces of nine millimeter scallop bead caps, lead free, nickel free, and cadmium free. So that is these. Um, I really do like these ones. I think they're very pretty. I don't know if they will fit on our resin beads back here. Um, but, uh, I will try them. Maybe it'll go over this. Yeah, these will, those will fit our resin beads. That's really cool. I like that. So, um, really pretty scalloped bead caps. And we got 24 pieces, so enough to do 12 beads. Kind of looks like there's more than that there. <laughs> Number 10 is um, uh, 10 pieces of 11 by 10 millimeter ornate round coin spacer beads, lead free, nickel free, and cadmium free. This is another thing I wish I'd have got more of. Unfortunately, I did not. And that is these. I think these are super, super pretty. Um, they're very hefty, actually. Sorry, I'm hearing some sirens outside, so I was wondering where they were going. Um, these are very hefty and um, very, very pretty. I love them. They'll make amazing spacer beads. Beautiful. I live in the middle of nowhere, and so it's rare for you to hear sirens. You kind of always are just, like, curious. We actually did have um, a building burned down here not too long ago, like two or three weeks. Um, and I don't know if they figured out how the fire started, but it was massive by the time it spread around town. Um... 11 is an 8-inch strand of 6mm tawny pink rhodonite round beads. So this is one of my favorite gemstones. I love the really, really pretty pink color of these gemstones. So. This is them. It's supposed to be 8 inches. And I have a couple of strands in my stash of this that I could add um, to this mix to add some more beads in um but i love 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 this gemstone beautiful and that was a six millimeter number 12 is a 14 inch strand of three millimeter round glass beads in matte metallic peacock red so these are a lot smaller than i thought they were they're super, super cute, but I was expecting, like, I guess a four millimeter or so. Um, and so, they look so tiny. But, super cute. I mean, in context, 
like they're tiny or let me see like in context to this super super tiny but and that's a 10 millimeter bead and this is a three but they are so stinking pretty i love them i love the coating i love the pops of red and gold that pop through so pretty and this is supposed to be a 14 inch strand which gives you tons of little beads to work with so cute there's that <laughs> then number 13 is a 40 millimeter rose quartz go-go pendant this is really really pretty i was super excited about this one let me see if i can scoot this stuff over a little bit So here is our go go pendant. Um, it's pretty decently thick. That's its thickness there. It's really, really pretty. Um, it is pinker than it's showing up on camera. I might be able to try and pull out some of that pinkness. Um, like there's a comparison between those two. And I think this will go beautifully with that actually. But really pretty really nice to mention to it love it and it has a flack back flack it has a flack yep a flat back and then a domed front so very nice it'll lay very nice against your skin i really like that number 14 is 10 piece a 10 piece strand of 10 millimeter frosted rose quartz round beads um, so when you frost rose quartz, it almost makes your beads look white. So I'm not a huge fan of the frosted look just because only a couple of them are really going to look like they're pink because of that matte frosted look. So... That is our 10 pieces, and these were 10 millimeter. So, same size as these back here. And you can see how big of a difference in pink that is. And so, these beads almost look white. This one looks like it's the pinkest one on the strand. So, I'm not a huge fan of frosted in rose quartz. Okay, number... 15 is six pieces of 12.5 millimeter pearl pink porcelain round beads. So that is these. So these are um, porcelain beads. And they're really pretty. They have a an awesome um, pearlescent sheen on them. I really like that. And I think our bead caps will fit these as well. Where did our bead caps go? Oops, I dropped it. Yes. So that bead cap will sit on there nicely and accentuate the bead. I really, really like that. So I like to cover up the edges of these because they're porcelain. Usually your coating doesn't make it all the way to the hole. But those are super pretty. Love them. I wish we'd have got more of those. Okay, number, um, what was that? That was 15, so, so number 16 is a 13 and a half inch strand of 3 by 3.5 crystal rondelle beads in pink jade copper. So these are gorgeous. I need a ton more in my life. And I don't know why, but these look bigger than those. But they're supposed to be about the same size. But, oh, I love when you pair copper with things and have, like, a bead that's half copper, half something else. I just think that is an absolutely gorgeous look. 
And so I'm so glad that we got quite a few of these to work with. Gorgeous. I wish I had a ton more of those strands because they're beautiful. Then we've got three more items. Our next item is five sets of 24 by 11 millimeter hook and eye clasp, lead free and cadmium free. So these still do have nickel. So if you're allergic to nickel, you don't want to use these. Just a second guys, I'm gonna take a drink. Okay, and so this is how these work. Let me try and... I'm gonna try and get this out. All right, give me just a second, guys. Someone just pulled in, so I'll get this untangled while I wait for them to come in because our door squeaks really bad. Okay, I'm back. So here's one of our hook and eye class. We got um, five sets. And um, this is how this is going to work. So you get this little piece right here. You're going to hook this piece to your project, and this is what your hook is going to hook into. This hooks to your project, and then your little hook will hook in just like that and it'll make a really cool clasp so really glad to have some of those I don't think I have any of that one and then number 18 is a seven and a half inch strand of eight millimeter faceted rose quartz round beads and so I really love faceted beads because they just take your rounds up a notch so here are those super super pretty love them and we have one item left actually let me set these over here one item left and that is a hundred pieces of four millimeter steel spacer beads in antique copper these are nickel free but they are not lead free or cadmium free so if you're allergic to any of those metals you don't want to use these and so these are just your standard round spacer beads in copper. So that's everything for the month of September. I really, really liked this box. Probably one of my favorites in a while. Um, I love all the pinks together. This one was absolutely my all-time favorite of this box then i'm gonna have to say these and these and these love those those are my favorites of this box and i wish i had more of all of them i do have more of the rhodonite in my stash but i don't have any of these and i wish i could just have a box of them they're so pretty so um, once again, I believe that this um, ran 1940 or runs 1949 now. Um, I will put all the particulars in the description box below as well as links to their um, subscription box and to their sister site as well. Um, check out their sister site. They have some really awesome products. I just made a purchase from them myself um, because they are clearancing out a bunch of stuff right now. So, um, head on over there. Some of their stuff is marked all the way down to 70% off. So, check them out for sure. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.